What is ADHD? Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD, is a neurological condition that affects an individual's ability to focus, remain still, and control their behavior. It commonly begins in childhood and can continue into adulthood. Often diagnosed during the early school years, ADHD is one of the most prevalent mental health conditions in children. ADHD cannot be prevented or cured. However, early identification and the implementation of a comprehensive treatment and education plan can help manage its symptoms effectively. What are the types and symptoms of ADHD in children? ADHD in children is categorized into three main types, inattentive, hyperactive, impulsive, and combined. Inattentive type children diagnosed with the inattentive type of ADHD may exhibit the following symptoms. Easily distracted. Difficulty following directions or completing tasks. Poor listening skills. Struggles to maintain attention. Makes careless mistakes. Frequently forgets things. Problems organizing daily activities. Trouble sitting still. Often misplaces items. Tends to daydream frequently. Hyperactive impulsive type. Children diagnosed with a hyperactive impulsive type of ADHD may exhibit the following symptoms. Often squirm, fidget, or bounce when seated. Difficulty staying seated. Inability to play quietly alone. Constant movement, such as running or climbing on things. Excessive talking, trouble waiting for their turn. Blurting out answers. Interrupting others. Combined type. Children diagnosed with the combined type of ADHD exhibit symptoms of both inattention and hyperactivity impulsivity. This type is the most common form of ADHD. What are the symptoms of ADHD in adults? ADHD symptoms can evolve as individuals age. Common symptoms in adults include frequently being late or forgetting things, feeling restless, difficulty controlling anger, impulsiveness, struggling to stay organized, procrastination, becoming easily frustrated, often feeling bored, trouble concentrating while reading, experiencing mood swings, depression. These symptoms can significantly impact daily life, leading to challenges in the workplace and in personal relationships. ADHD versus ADD. Attention Deficit Disorder, ADD, was the previous term used for what is now known as Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD. The name changed in 1987 to include hyperactivity as a key component. Despite the change, some people still use both terms interchangeably to refer to the same condition. What are the causes and risk factors of ADHD? The exact cause of ADHD is unknown, but research indicates a strong genetic component. You may be more likely to develop ADHD if it runs in your family. Other risk factors include sustaining a brain injury, being born to a mother who smoked or drank during pregnancy, having a low birth weight or being born prematurely, exposure to lead or other toxic substances before birth or during early childhood. How is ADHD diagnosed and tested? Diagnosing ADHD, particularly in children, can be challenging as there is no single test for it. Doctors diagnose ADHD in children and teens by thoroughly discussing symptoms with the child, parents, and teachers and observing the child's behaviors. Doctors follow the American Psychiatric Association's guidelines, which consider the number and duration of symptoms. They also rule out other potential causes, such as mental health conditions like depression and anxiety, and medical conditions like thyroid disorders, which can present similar symptoms. Healthcare providers might recommend a series of tests to assess brain function and rule out issues with vision, hearing, or other sensory problems that can mimic ADHD symptoms. These tests are typically administered by a pediatrician or mental health professional experienced in diagnosing and treating ADHD and may include a physical exam and neurological assessment, including screenings of vision, hearing, and verbal and motor skills. An evaluation of intelligence, aptitude, personality traits, and processing skills. How is ADHD treated? Treating ADHD in children typically involves a combination of therapies. Behavioral therapy, parent training, and behavior management. 
Therapists work with parents to teach effective ways to manage their child's behavior. This includes setting clear routines, using positive reinforcement, and addressing unwanted behaviors. This approach is especially recommended for young children who rely on their parents to help control their behavior. Play, talk therapy. Suitable for older children and teens, this therapy provides a space for them to express their emotions and discuss their problems. It helps them understand and manage their feelings and behaviors. Medication for ADHD. Stimulants, commonly used for ADHD, these medications include dextroamphetamine and methylphenidate. They enhance focus, attention, and reduce impulsiveness. Non-stimulants, used when stimulants are ineffective or cause side effects, examples are atomoxetine, clonidine, and guanfacine. They take longer to take effect but can last up to 24 hours. Effective treatments for adults with ADHD. Therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, helps reframe negative thought patterns, manage emotions, and develop coping skills for ADHD symptoms. ADHD coaching provides practical support for daily tasks such as organization, time management, and task completion. Medication show. Stimulants. Doctors may prescribe medications like amphetamine or methylphenidate non-stimulants. Options include atomoxetine, clonidine, and guanfacine. Lifestyle changes. Regular exercise, physical activity can improve focus, reduce impulsiveness, and boost mood. Sleep. Adequate sleep is crucial for managing ADHD symptoms, which can worsen with sleep deprivation. Stress management. Managing stress is important as it can exacerbate ADHD symptoms. Natural remedies for ADHD. Certain lifestyle changes can significantly improve ADHD symptoms, complementing therapy and medication. Nutrition. Eating a nutritious diet supports brain and body health. Maintaining steady blood sugar levels is crucial as fluctuations can impact energy, mood, and focus. Opt for high protein and high fiber foods while avoiding high sugar foods. Choose whole foods over processed ones. Hydration is essential. Drink water and other unsweetened beverages to stay hydrated, as even mild dehydration can affect mood and concentration. Exercise. Regular physical activity is beneficial for both adults and children with ADHD. Sleep. Adequate sleep is vital. Children need 9 to 13 hours of sleep per night. Teens need 8 to 10 hours. And adults need 7 to 9 hours. Lack of sleep can worsen ADHD symptoms. Stress management. Stress can exacerbate ADHD symptoms. Techniques like yoga, meditation, breathing exercises, and mindfulness can help lower stress levels for both adults and children. Supplements. Omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oil may improve ADHD symptoms, though they are less effective than prescription medications and take longer to show effects. Living with ADHD, raising a child with ADHD, simplify your child's room to reduce distractions. Maintain clear schedules and routines. Use simple, specific instructions. For example, brush your teeth. Now get dressed. Give your full attention when talking to your child. Model calm, focused behavior. Be consistent with discipline and ensure other caregivers do the same. Reward good behavior. Boost your child's self-esteem by praising their strengths. Encourage participation in sports and extracurricular activities. Educate yourself about ADHD and impulsive behaviors. Stay in close contact with your child's doctor, teachers, and therapists. Join support groups to learn from other parents. Living with ADHD as an adult, use lists and planners to manage appointments and tasks. Break tasks into smaller, manageable steps. Set timers to stay focused and take breaks. Declutter your space to minimize distractions. Maintain consistent daily routines. Find a distraction-free work environment. Use noise-canceling headphones or white noise. Focus on one task at a time, taking breaks between tasks. Be open about your ADHD with friends, family, and colleagues for support. Join support groups to connect with others who have ADHD. Consider hiring a coach for accountability. Don't hesitate to ask for help when needed. ADHD Outlook. 
Without treatment, ADHD can create significant challenges in daily life. Children might struggle with learning and social skills, while adults may face issues with relationships and addiction. The disorder can also lead to mood swings, depression, low self-esteem, eating disorders, risk-taking behaviors, and conflicts with others. However, with proper treatment, many people with ADHD lead happy, fulfilling lives. It's crucial to monitor symptoms and have regular checkups with your doctor. Treatments and medications that were effective initially might need adjustments over time. Some individuals see an improvement in symptoms as they enter adulthood and may eventually stop treatment. ADHD FAQs. How can you determine if you have ADHD? The only way to know if you have ADHD is to consult a professional trained in diagnosing this condition. Since ADHD shares symptoms with many other conditions, a thorough evaluation is necessary. Can someone with ADHD live a normal life? Yes, with the right treatment and lifestyle adjustments, people with ADHD can lead normal and fulfilling lives. Is ADHD an illness or a coping mechanism? ADHD is a clinically recognized disorder related to nervous system development. It can be managed with specific medications and often has a genetic component. It is not a coping mechanism. You can find more health topics and tips on the Optimal Best Health channel.